Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, we're going to celebrate afternoon at the Authors. Why not celebrate in style here at the Hollywood Heritage with a man who needs no introduction, the great Leonard Maltin, one of the uh, best Hollywood historians on just about every subject pertaining to Tinseltown. We are really thrilled to have you with us. Well, that's very flattering. Thank you very much. Well, it's, I think it's well-deserved. And tell us about your latest book. And being an author is something that's kind of transpired throughout your career. Well, I, I love to write. And I discovered this at a young age and uh, started publishing, publishing a, a, an amateur attempt at a publication with my best friend when we were in fifth grade. And uh, the first issue had a circulation of three because we had an original and two carbon copies that we could pass along to our classmates. And if you don't know what carbon paper is, uh, go, go Google it, <laughs> which we couldn't do in the days of carbon paper. Right, right. <laughs> and then I, I continued doing uh, my own kind of uh, publications right through my teenage years and wound up being introduced to uh, uh, an editor at uh, uh, a major publishing house in New York and being hired to do the first edition of what became my movie guide at the age of 17. So I've had, I've had a remarkable life. Well, that movie guide is really must, must read for anybody who is a cinephile. And I have one proudly, in, uh, a copy of your book, proudly in my, my uh, home. So i um, thrilled to, uh, to share that. But let's talk about your latest book. It's really the road to your early history into Hollywood? Yeah, it's, the, it's, my, it's my greatest hits, <laughs> plus, uh, yeah. plus my, you know, my beginnings. Right. And my beginnings started, as I say, quite young. I met Buster Keaton when I was 13 years old. There's a whole story about how that came to pass. And uh, it got published. It, uh, the book came out when I was 18 and got my foot in the door of publishing. And then it was promoting one of my books on the Today Show, which was a great, you know, lucky booking uh, that brought me to the attention of somebody out here in California. I was back in New York. And that got me hired on Entertainment Tonight, where I worked for 30 years. So, you know, it's not a how-to book. <laughs> it's a how-to-get-lucky book. Wow. And you also, uh, uh, is it in the book that you, that you worked, I believe, um, with uh, Encore or, or Stars? Or? I worked for both. I worked for uh, Stars when it first went on the air, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, uh, over the ether, over the cables. I don't know how you... <laughs> Describe it when it was born, and then I worked for Stars and Encore for a long, long time, recommending movies that they were showing. Mm -hmm. And I worked for DirecTV. There's very few places I haven't put in some time. <laughs> well, what is uh, maybe you can give us a tidbit in here that maybe people don't know about Leonard Maltin? Is there anything in here that would surprise the reader? Well, uh, that my other great love is jazz, and uh, I used my uh, wherewithal at Entertainment Tonight to get to meet some people that I admired and my secret agenda was to play piano with them. So I got to do that with uh, the great Jack Sheldon, wonderful trumpeter, and his orchestra. He let me sit in with his band. Uh, Benny Carter, another of the giants. Right. Uh, so, you know, and, and so that's been my other passion. Wow. Any other books that you are, that's in the fires as we speak? Uh, no, if this, uh, if this has, Starstruck has uh, tremendous success, maybe I can do a sequel. <laughs> more, more stories, right? Uh, yeah, I have many more. And, and uh, why should I be on a, on a different track than Hollywood itself, repeating <laughs> one success with another? And your television career, is it it's still going strong and uh, are you making well, appearances? I, I Working with TCM, I see you I, off in there. I, I still appear on Turner Classic Movies uh, periodically. And, uh, and I'm a talking head, as they say, uh, an interviewee in a lot of documentaries and uh, special presentations. A and they kind of, some of those have a long life. So people say, I just saw you the other night. And I say, doing what? I don't remember, you know, but there was, you know, there you were. 
there I am. I'm introducing uh, uh, classics from the Paramount Library on Paramount uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's another outlet now for me. Well, one other outlet that I know of, a new addition in the family as well. Well, that's the most important of all. My, my, my latest and greatest credential, grandfather. <laughs> and uh, our daughter, Jessie, our only child, uh, has just given birth one month ago to an adorable daughter named Daisy. And I, I, I just, I'm smitten. And I never, I, I, I never, I never could picture what this would be like. I have lots of friends who said, oh, it's the best. Grandparenthood is the best. They're right. And, you know, speaking about your daughter, now that you mention that, uh, you've really done some real special podcasts with your daughter. So working with your family is a very special thing, too. It is. My, my uh, wife and I have been business partners uh, uh, since the beginning of our marriage 46 years ago. She's the brains of the outfit. And uh, uh, our daughter, Jessie, and I have, have worked together informally. But now, for five years, we've been co-hosting a weekly, hour-long podcast, an interview podcast. And we've had great opportunities. We've talked to Mel Brooks. We've talked to Angela Lansbury. We've talked to, uh, you know, also Al Pacino, all sorts of folks. That's a great, and it's, and it's an opportunity to keep it in the family, which is always a really special thing. Yes, it is. And, and, and uh, some of our guests, a lot of our guests seem to be uh, sort of disarmed a bit, charmed by the idea of a father-daughter team. I think, that's, I think that's fabulous myself. I think it keeps it warm, it keeps it friendly, keeps it familiar. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we mention Robert Osborne and Tom Hatton, even Ralph Story, your name goes right along with them. You're really in that, in that echelon of what we call special historians of Hollywood and even Los Angeles history. We really appreciate a moment with you. Well, thank you very much. Again, I appreciate all those kind words. I'm Manny Pacheco for Celebrating Act Two as we spend an afternoon with the authors at Hollywood Heritage. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.